subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Hi everyone, my name is Anita Sharma and I welcome you all on Inkpot of Media once again. Today I'm going to be speaking with Professor Nand Kumar Mekot, who is working as, as, as a professor of marketing and also handling the fellow program in management at Goa Institute of Management. I welcome you, sir. Thank you so much for accepting our request. How are you doing? Well, thank you very much, Dr. Anita. Very nice meeting you, and thank you very much. Vincent. Likewise, yeah. sir. So I'm Please so find. happy. I'm so happy to know that Goa Institute of Management is also in the field of creating knowledge. And I'm so happy to see the FPM program of Goa Institute of Management because you are handling and chairing this and managing the program. Uh, I would like to know from you that what is the FPM program of Goa Institute of Management? Uh, we have started this program in 2020 and we are going to admit the third batch now. And uh, the advantage is that we have a very strong uh, coursework as well as uh, good research skills we are imparting to students. Our program basically stresses on uh, research skills, domain knowledge and uh, teaching skills. So uh -huh. these are the three things we are doing uh -huh. and that is the program. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I would also like to know that what kind of potential the FPM candidate uh, you are looking for for the GIM's research ecosystem because every institute has some agenda, every institute has some you know focused research alignment. Tell me more about the kind of PhD students you are looking for. We, our basic requirement is a first class master's and a first class at 12th, but we are looking for candidates who have a lot of initiative and self-motivated, intrinsically motivated kind of candidates. Uh -huh. We have a very good latitude because we have a lot of specializations like many, many areas are there. For example, we have big data and we have financial services, healthcare. And apart from usual areas which we have like, for example, marketing, human resource, OB, economics. So we have a very good latitude. So any kind of candidate can come to us. Uh -huh. and do any kind of research and we are very flexible and we have a big latitude. But at the same time, we are looking for intrinsically motivated candidates. I'm, I'm sure. I think uh, that keeps us going in terms of the PhD program and research program. I would also like to know very uniquely designed uh, coursework you have. Uh, tell me more about the coursework because that, that gives us direction, that gives us uh, the path forward. So tell me more about the coursework as well. Yeah, 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 definitely. We have a lot of courses on methodology. For example, we have uh, structural equations, modeling. We have uh, multivariate data analysis, literature review, econometrics, and so on. So we place a lot of emphasis on honing the methodological skills of candidates. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, they can also opt courses from our PGDM program to increase their domain knowledge. Mm -hmm. So a person who is specializing in marketing, for example, can take marketing electives mm -hmm. or any electives, whichever he thinks will be useful to his. So there are a lot, there is a lot of flexibility in that mm -hmm. case. Okay. It's also possible to take some core courses. Mm -hmm. And we are also giving some kind of workshops. There are, there are workshops on pedagogy. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, there are so many things that is possible. So that mm -hmm. is a basic description about the coursework. And then we have a dissertation. So they will be attached to a guide. The mm -hmm. students have a lot of option to choose. Many, many good researchers are there. Mm -hmm. And they can choose guides. And also the last two years they work mm -hmm. on the work on the thesis part of it. That is the program. So we have a very good mm -hmm. the first two years are programs and they have credit seminars and uh, credit seminars for example will help them to find out a topic and all it is based on presentations then we also teach them how to write a review paper based on literature survey so a lot of things to hone their research skills and domain knowledge that is really great i was going through the faculty profile i've seen that a lot of faculty members are 
into research and doing a class apart research and it looks very promising to me sure. so i heard that faculties are extremely open faculties are you know available so tell me more about the culture of uh, the institute like how the research culture is evolving over a period of time yeah we have a very collaborative research culture culture because faculties collaborate many of the faculties are working jointly on many projects and there are also people who work on international projects many faculties are there like professor divya singhal and uh-huh. many are there those who are working on international projects so that will also give a lot of opportunities for students mm-hmm. so mostly we have a good collaborative culture and faculties are publishing very well in star rated mm-hmm. journals and top level journals they are publishing so students get very good training and we are also starting some kind of seminars by students every month one of the days we will earmark for a few students so that they can get critiqued and they can get feedback from all the faculty as well as other mm-hmm. research scholars mm-hmm. would you like to speak about the labs which you have because i have heard that a um, few labs you are having and which is giving students uh, a first hand experience to explore more on uh, different aspects around these labs um, some maybe ob yeah, we have a behavioral lab uh-huh. for example we have eye tracking facilities there and we have skin conductivity so this is one of the unique facilities we are having so students can do research on that and we have trained faculty in that and we can conduct a training program behavioral lab is one of the things mm-hmm. and then we have bloomberg for example and they can get all kind of data from bloomberg terminal mm-hmm. and also we do have thomson reuters epsco and mm-hmm. sas and many labs do we have we have very good facilities for researchers mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here. Mm-hmm. okay um foreign exchange programs generally attract students um what kind of initiatives gim is going to take to send students for exchange programs or any student is going that do have some collaborative programs exchange programs and all but that but we are getting opportunities because of our uh, because we have many centers in sustainability and all which got uh, we are working closely with many professors and we have process abroad and also we have a distinguished professors program in which many of the professors like professor naresh malhotra and all we have collaborations with them so there are opportunities of course mm-hmm. uh, students can listen to them and learn from them and mm-hmm. also they will get opportunities to work apart from this uh, if students are able to find some working partners other professors from other universities for students we will give all support to encourage yeah such endeavors they can mm-hmm. go ahead and uh, get collaborations from foreign universities we will all heartedly support it so here comes a very important question sir because uh, you, i have i've seen it on the website that you're talking about that students will be eventually turning into uh, great researchers and great teachers um and there is a culture of uh, portfolio careers now evolving how gim is going to help to design that portfolio cul- portfolio life or portfolio career in terms of consultancy if a student is interested um uh, um our faculty is open to work around um, uh, helping students to work like how consulting projects are to be done is is like is there any opportunity around that faculty are doing consulting so uh-huh. students can associate with uh-huh. faculty and get an yeah. experience of doing consultancy yeah that's what that i wanted to know because eventually it is evolving yeah this is eventually uh, you know getting um, in many institutes so just wanted to know if gim is uh, taking uh, that part into the career building of the student so very very interesting sir so what kind of advice would you like to give to the potential phd students how should they prepare to get in the gim yeah, before that i would also like to say that we support students in many ways apart from the a stipend monthly stipend is huh. at par and we give also accommodation to students uh-huh. and sometimes if possible we give family accommodation okay then also we give conference support to students they can attend even international conferences we will give them 
amounted to go and attend mm-hmm. international conferences mm-hmm. and also we have contingency grant which they can use for attending courses or buying laptops or many of the facilities so these are also we are giving good support to students okay my advice to students of course is that this is a good place please come and join us Yeah. and i think the students have to stay focused on what is important important research work they have to stay focused yeah. on research work and also do hard work yeah. and then definitely they can do very well in their career. so uh, so, so well. three tips or three books which you think that a student should read to get in gim because it's about getting in uh, the system so what should a student prepare for so any two three tips if you can share like should they talk about their or should they prepare or hone their uh, skills on uh, the background which they are coming from or sop or uh, their research proposal what exactly they should you know focus on so in our selection process actually the statement of purpose as well as the proposal is very important although mm-hmm. that is not the only criteria we use an interview also mm-hmm. but at the same time i think it may be good to prepare a good proposal mm-hmm. and also to prepare a good sop because having a direction is very important for the student Yeah. At the same time, we do know that we are not expecting very good uh, research skills or anything because we are teaching them to do that. So when yeah. they come in, even if they don't have it, if they have potential, that is good enough. Exactly. So you are looking for that potential so, to uh, get through the program. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we are we are in, we are grooming uh, potential candidates into good researchers. So I understand. I understand. Who will be the fellow of uh, GIM eventually? what what are what is that ideal fellow of gim who is going to get the fellowship from or fellow of gim so what is that what yeah, is that when we give so when they come they should have a lot of initiative and they should be motivated and they should be hard working when they go out from here they will have a lot of research skills domain uh-huh. knowledge and teaching skills and they will be fit to go into a good teaching organization or research organization and also maybe to take up leadership positions in academics in the future uh, maybe mm. that is that is amazing so thank thank you so much for your time and uh, your support it's great to see you all here thank you for watching our work if you have not subscribed to infotop media then please hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel and support research celebrations in india press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update